absolutely lovely day and I've got a video for all you shoe lovers out there. Today I'm going to be finally reviewing the Asics Gel Cumulus 25 which I've got on my feet right now but first I've got a part time to do and I've got a little toy so I can hopefully take you along with me for the ride. Let's get to part time. <laughs> truly late to the party with this video, but here we go anyway. This is the Asics Gel Cumulus 25, and I have run 100 miles, I haven't run 100 miles in it, run about 300 miles in it now, and I was meant to do this review uh, yeah, ages ago when I ran 100 miles, but um, it's happening now. Oh well, what is the basis of this shoe? This shoe is an easy day shoe, it's really comfortable. It's got a nice bit of foam on the bottom to keep your legs recovered and make those easy runs nice and easy and not take anything out of your legs. Obviously it doesn't have any plate in it, carbon or plastic or anything. Um, you don't really need speed in these shoes and they're not designed for that. You won't be getting much speed in them. I ended up having to do some track reps in these uh, the other day and trying to split 74 second laps in these were a big struggle for me um, so no speed however that park run that you did see I did that in 21 minutes um, and I did that in these and that was kind of fine you just don't get that kind of poppy response but that's really not what they're for I'm not going to bore you with stats in this video because I don't think that's really what this shoe is about yeah I could tell you the weight and everything all I'm going to say really is it's an easy day shoe. Obviously you notice it on your foot. It's not super, super light, but obviously that means that it can have extra cushioning and make you feel a lot more comfortable. And it does a great job of that. It's got super cushioned tongue. I love shoes, easy day shoes that have a super cushioned tongue. Really nice heel lock at the back. Nice little thing to help you get your shoes on here. I think my biggest point about this that I actually really, really love is the shape of it. And I think the shape of it is really suited to my foot in particular. So it's relatively narrow in the middle here, but then the toe box feels really, really wide for my feet, which is really, really nice. Um, this is a this is a 10 and a half, and I usually go 11s in um, running shoes. So actually I went half a size down, I guess, um, and it feels really, really comfortable, super snug, but not too tight. And I've done like long runs in this. And obviously with, with shoes, especially easy day shoes, the longer you run in them, your feet tend to swell up. Um, so that's why you always should go a bit higher than your normal shoe size. So I basically, I find the fit really, really, really comfortable and I could spend a lot of time in this. That, that really cushioned back means it has quite a high stack height, which is the amount of foam it has. Again, I could throw numbers at you, but what is the use in that in some ways? Um, so it makes, I've done some gym work in this and sometimes it can feel a little bit um, unstable, but generally when running, it's a really stable shoe, corners are fine. You're not gonna be going fast enough in this shoe to worry about cornering really. Maybe a possible downside, but I haven't had too much trouble with it is the bottom. Um, it's really not very grippy. As you saw in one of my previous videos that I can put up here or here or wherever it is, um, I reviewed the Hoka Clifton 8, which is just up there. Um, and that has a really, really good grip to it. Hokers have a, have good grips in general, I think. This doesn't have an as amazing grip, but it's still decent. It, when it's been super wet, I have like super wet on slick roads. I have noticed it a little bit. So this has been quite a kind of holistic review of the shoe, but I think that's quite important in some ways because it's not a speedster. It's not 
competing with loads of really fast shoes. It's not super light, it's not got a plate in it. It does a job. When it comes to easy day shoes, at the moment there are so many on the market, and even this is this is now coming to um, to the fast shoes as well. There are so many out there to choose from. And a lot of them have very similar stats. You know, if you're looking at easy day shoes, I will mention the price actually. Um, so this is, I got this for 99 pounds, I think, uh, discounted. I think the RRP is like 130 or something. Um, if you're if you're looking at easy day shoes around this kind of price point, that kind of 90 to 130 price point, they're all pretty much going to be the same. There are definitely some that are probably better, but also I think it you shouldn't necessarily just go by the stats, you should go by what fits your foot really well because these are the shoes you're gonna be spending a lot of time in. You're gonna be doing your long runs in them. You might be doing gym work in them as well. As I said in my Hoka video, I was tempted just to get another pair of those, but I'm glad I went for Asics because I think they're a really good brand. I haven't tried any of their faster shoes. They're definitely getting a lot of improvement. Bit of a holistic, um, review but in general i just think this is a really really good shoe i know it's a bit of a stupid thing to say in a shoe review but i guess i'm not being paid so i can say what i want when it comes to easy day shoes get in a shop try them out because it's you want to get what fits for you what you enjoy running in and what you're going to enjoy putting masses of miles in so thank you very much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed put your thoughts about this shoe if you have it uh, in the comments below or put your favorite easy day shoe i will see you in the next video